In this video, we will show you how to install the Radeon Pro Render plugin for Houdini from SideFX Software. From the official AMD website, go to the Graphics drop down menu and navigate to the Download sub menu from Radeon Pro Render. From there, scroll down to find the Houdini version of the plugin. There it is. You can select from Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Since I'm using Windows, I'll be installing the Windows version of the plugin. To download the installation package, either click on the Windows button, or you can click on the Release Notes link at the bottom, which will take you to the GitHub GPU Open page, where you can keep up with updates, features, and development notes regarding the official and beta releases of the plugin. GitHub users can also write reports and requests regarding features you'd like to see or be improved upon in future builds. Let's go to Releases. Be sure to pay close attention to the version of the plugin you're downloading and make sure that it corresponds with your version of Houdini. For example, the most recent build is for 18.5.408. I am using 18.5.351, which is available down here. I've already went ahead and downloaded it. Once your download is complete, unpack the zip folder and open the folder located inside. To install, double-click the Activate Houdini Plugin Application. This is the easiest method of installation known as the Automatic Method, which locates your Houdini Preferences directory and adds the HDRPR package to it. A window should appear saying that the plugin has been activated successfully. Once complete, open Houdini to confirm that your installation was indeed successful. Upon opening Houdini, your main drop-down menu should now have an RPR, or a Radeon Pro Render option, between Windows and Help. Also, to confirm your build's directory location, go to Help, select About Houdini, then check the Show Details button, and scroll down to find the RPR plugin information. Okay, looks like we're all set. After this, you can go ahead and close out of show details. Next, let's take a look at how to put RPR to use in Houdini.